Hey, what's up everyone? Um, welcome to another tutorial. Today I will be showing you how to do this cool VHS effect. Um, it just looks really clean. Oh, well, yeah, it's not really clean, but the VHS effect is really clean. It's really simple to do uh, too. So um, let's just hop right into it. So I'm going to delete all of this and I already have my project stuff in here. I have a little uh, footage of my phone that I just shot and I kind of film my keyboard on my screen. And I have this VHS overlay, which you can find in my uh, motion design pack. So I definitely recommend buying that. Um, first off, we're gonna start with a little crop. So we're gonna add a new, oh shit. We're gonna add a new solid. Uh, just make sure it's black. Just name this crop or something. Um, we're gonna go to effects. We're gonna type in CC Jaws, apply that. Um, we're gonna set this to 50 for now. And um, we're going to set the height to 0% so it's totally flat. We're gonna change the direction to 90 degrees. And we're gonna actually change this to 75%. And what this does, it basically crops it to a 4x3 ratio instead of a 16x9 ratio. Um, and the 4x3 is the, um, the standard ratio for VHS stuff. Also make sure your composition frame rate is uh, 24 frames per second. That's, that matches with the stuff from the VHS file thingy. And uh, we're gonna add an adjustment layer and, and just name it effects. And we're gonna add a few effects. We're gonna type in emboss. I'm not sure how to pronounce it actually. We're gonna click on this one and click on this one. And then finally, we're gonna add noise. So let's just turn these effects off for now. And uh, basically what we're gonna do is we're gonna uh, put this to like, um, let's do 85%. And uh, we're gonna set up the relief to like four. Contrast to like, uh, let's do 500 for now. Yeah, you can already see it's like the edges are a little bit more contrasted, a little more checked. We're gonna do the same for color emboss. We're gonna just uh, copy these settings for now. Um, so yeah, let's let's check that. Let's check the difference for now. That's already looking pretty cool. Let me turn off the sound for now. As you can see, we have this nice VHS effect with the. It's kind of like the high pass filter in uh, in Photoshop. As you can see, it really looks like it's a VHS. But we're gonna add some noise as well. Put it like 10% or something. There we go. Just some clean extra noise. Um, then we want to add the VHS overlay, of course. Make sure it's under the crop. And we're gonna scale this up to like 150%. Oh, wait, we're gonna scale this one up to 150% so it covers the entire screen. We're gonna set it to screen. Um, I personally always like uh, this little jacked edge here. So I'm going to duplicate the layer. I'm going to draw a little mask over where the part with the jacked edges. And I'm going to move it a little bit to the side of the screen. There we go. And we're gonna click on feather and just feather it 50 pixels so it doesn't do any weird stuff there. Um, also, you kinda want this to be like under here so it looks extra VHS y if you want. Um, you can also just put it up there. It doesn't really matter to be honest. Um, how about if you put the crop under there? Nah, it doesn't really look at you. Well, you can do it, but I don't know. It just looks too gray in my opinion. So, um, yeah, that's basically it. Oh no, wait, I forgot a final effect. There's always this little glitch line walking through. So we're gonna add that. Um, we're gonna add another uh, adjustment layer, call it offset. We're gonna click on transform, uh, type in transform in the effects. We're gonna put it on there. Make sure it's like above this layer. And we want uh, to set the position to like 100 pixels extra. So as you can see, everything shifts a little bit to the right, 100 pixels to the right. And uh, so what we want to do is we're going to uh, change the scale of this uh, layer and we're going to set, wait, leave this at 100, set it to like um, 6. 6 looks pretty good. And then what we're going to do is we're going to animate the position. So first let like minus 50, so there we go. And then like at three seconds, we're gonna set it to um, 1080, a little extra like that. We're gonna animate it. And as you can see, we have this nice clean VHS effect um, with the cool overlay as well, the cool uh, little offset thingy. And you can always mess around with this. You can add uh, two ones, like a big one and a smaller one. 
um, if you like you can mess around with the offset so it's more offset less offset you can mess around with the noise settings you can basically mess around and entirely customize it yourself and there you go um, that's the VHS effect we've just created it's really simple really easy to do you uh, can do it very quickly uh, you can also just uh, select all of these effects and, and go to animation save animation preset so every time you edit adjustment layer click on the adjustment layer and click on apply and you click on your vhs overlay as you can see if i delete all of this and i go to animation apply animation i have this little preset pack i'm working on and i just click on the vhs overlay it'll just automatically add all effects and there you go so you can do it even faster once you've done it once um so basically that's the tutorial i hope you liked it uh, thank you for watching. Be sure to like and subscribe all of that stuff. Next tutorial is probably going to be either a Saber text tutorial with the, the cool neon glow or it's going to be a little 3D animation um, with Element 3D and After Effects. So stay tuned for that. Uh, thank you for watching and uh, be sure to like and subscribe and I will see you in the next video. Bye everyone.